This week we are going on safari in Malawi and bringing you along with us. Malawi is country 153 for us and on Instagram we're posting a video every day until we make it to every country or at least trying to. But here on YouTube we're really excited to share more of the behind the scenes and like the ups and downs along the journey. Let's be honest, the safari is going to be much more of an up than the past week. We've been busing through Mozambique, staying in some unique accommodations, shall we say. So we are so excited to be here and bring you along with us on safari this week. But first, you've got to see where we're staying. So first of all, we've got this view, which apparently hippos love to frequent. Check this out. We even got a room key as a hippo. This is one of my favorite features. There is a literal drum that if you need anything, you can simply bang it. <laughs> this is my type of tent. Pure luxury. We've got a huge bed, incredible room with a view of the animals, which apparently come out at night. We do have an emergency red button. The bathroom is the size of another entire room. We've got a huge tub, safari inspired robes, and if that wasn't enough, if you don't like the indoor shower, come check out the outdoor shower. You literally have a view of the hippos. So this is Mvu Lodge, and we learned that Mvu is part of the local language which translates to hippo. Very fitting because there are hippos everywhere here. Like, look, as I'm speaking, that's a hippo. It's literally like hungry hippos in real life. So one thing that makes them very unique is that in addition to like the regular game drives, you can also go on river safaris by boat. And we're gonna go do one pretty soon, so come along with us. We are about to go on our first safari adventure. We're gonna have to have a running count of how many hippos we see during this week here. I think we're gonna see a hundred tonight because I like miss these guys chilling with their ears above the water. Look, there's some more right there. I was just looking at the ones standing on the land, but they're literally everywhere. And our guide said that there's typically like one male per 15 plus females that they mate with. So uh, I don't think they're gonna be running out of hippos anytime soon. like the real life animal kingdom. It's literally what Disney would recreate their rides after. Those literally just like pop up with their ears. Oh, there he is, there he is. And then they just go back into the water, they disappear. You can see how dangerous they can be because you can hardly see them and they just sprint out of the water at top speed. This is literally a postcard. That was amazing. A great, great way to end the night. We thought we were exaggerating by saying we saw over 100 hippos, but they actually counted and we saw over 200 hippos tonight. It was such a beautiful sunset. So Liwande National Park, where we are right now, is known as one of the best safari parks in Malawi. The cool thing about being on a safari in Malawi, as opposed to like Kenya or Tanzania, which we've done and we've loved, is that it really feels exclusive here. Like there's not many other vehicles around, so it really feels like it's just you and the animals. And the Mvu team said that African Parks has really focused on conservation here and reintroduced a lot of animals so they have four of the big five they have lions uh, i can never ever think of them elephants african buffalo oh and rhinos so our goal is to see all of them while we're here all right we are loading up for a game drive again tonight we are so excited and we've got danny as our guide today so we're really looking forward to seeing what we can spot Tonight, Danny said that we are going to be trying to look for some cats, which would be pretty cool to see. We actually saw one of the biggest lions we might have ever seen before, but some more lions would be so awesome. We also have Alan with us, who is a park ranger here, so he's here for protection, which is another great feeling. He's just joking where the track is. Wow. Wow. It's cool. We came across a 
elephant carcass. So they let us go out of the car to check it out up close. Wow. It's only like four months ago. You can still see the skin. They have spotted another vehicle, which normally means that something's happening. <laughs> we don't know what yet. If I had to guess, I would guess lions, but I'm not sure. Could be nothing, <laughs> could be rabbits. That's the fun part of a safari, is you just never know. So right behind me, we have a pride of five lions. And right on the other side of us, We've got a group of six, I think six elephants. <laughs> Pretty incredible. Oh, look at the little baby. the best parts of safaris is you feel like you're really doing something but you're just <laughs> really just sitting in a vehicle but because of the excitement of like where are the animals where are we gonna see it it feels like you're on this <laughs> incredible activity adventure we are so lucky we got to see a rhino we officially saw the big four that is in the park really they're doing all the work you're just getting to sit and enjoy eat amazing food we just had popcorn and cokes right with this beautiful view and soon we're headed back to camp for some dinner <laughs> this is life. Do not get eaten by a lion. <laughs> Stay safe. Alan has gone to the front to be our spotter. Turned into a nighttime safari now. It's pretty cool. So Dream Tours and Travel transported us here. They were amazing. And then the company who's hosting us here is Central African Wilderness Safaris. They run Mvu Lodge. They're very involved with the local community here. They have so many awesome projects they're involved in. One for planting trees, irrigation projects to help local families, a school we got to visit, and an environmental educational program. Actually, we learned that one of our safari guys, Trifundo, was an orphan who joined the program. And he says that he may have otherwise become a poacher but because of that program he is now a safari guide so it's extra special to know that by booking with them you're not only supporting an amazing company but also one that really cares about the local community here it is pure luxury here so i already know we're gonna miss it and i also know that hud's really gonna miss my puns <laughs> hey kudu kudos to you the lion right there i ain't lying so thank you guys so much for watching we love you would subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.